What are the findings of your most recent publication? Well, we, we wanted to, to compare what central banks have been doing because you know, all the major central banks have been throwing money at, uh, at the problems uh, in the economy. Uh, and so there's the idea that everybody's doing the same, that the ECB, the Federal Reserve, the Bank of England, they're just doing the same. Uh, they're buying government bonds. Uh, they're doing what is called quantitative easing uh, by, the, by the Federal Reserve. And so we wanted to, to find out whether this was uh, true or not. So what we started to do is to compare the size of what the, uh, the, the central banks ha have done. And, and it's roughly the same, a little bit more for the Bank of England recently, uh, and a little bit less by, by the ECB, but roughly it is the same. The size of those operations is, is the same. Now, if you move to the, to the content, uh, you find that it's, it's really different, because initially um, the Fed and the Bank of England also provided liquidity to banks, but gradually that was phased out, and then uh, they moved to uh, buying government bonds, essentially for reasons having to do with the fact that the interest rate was reaching the zero limit. And so when the interest rate reaches the, the zero limit, they were looking for ways to, you know, to, do, to do more uh, in, in substitute to the fact that you can't lower the, the interest rate be, below zero. Uh, the ECB uh, uh, has uh, started and then continued providing liquidity to banks. But the motivation, really, was that the banking system, uh, or the, more precisely the interbank market, uh, wasn't functioning and, and still isn't functioning well. So the ECB, in fact, substituted what's happening between banks. So it's not like uh, trying to achieve something with respect to the economy. It's trying to achieve something with respect to the way banks work with each other. In what way have LTROs proven to be a weak solution to the crisis? Well, so the ECB has provided very much and a lot of liquidity to the financial system and to banks throughout the euro system. That has been extremely important to really help funding needs of banks throughout the eurozone. And it has been in particular important for banks in the south of Europe. Now, uh, if we look at how this liquidity has been used, we find that a lot of the liquidity has actually been rechanneled towards banks in the north, and some of this liquidity has been used to buy government bonds, in particular by banks in the south of Europe again. Unfortunately, we still do not have very strong evidence that um, the additional liquidity by the ECB has been used for um, credits given to the real economy. So um, we still have a situation where um, the loans given to the non-financial corporations but also to households develop very weak.